Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. Today we're going to be looking at how to solve and work with equations that are generated by sets of parallel lines. So uh, last time we looked at a set of parallel lines and found some patterns there and had some new uh, vocabulary and stuff like alternate interior angles and vertical angles and stuff like that. So if you need a refresher on that, go quickly uh, jump back and watch that video. But uh, we did at the, uh, towards the end at least, generated a pattern where there were actually all eight of the angles in a set of parallel lines cut by a transversal only had two measurements and they followed this pattern. I didn't use numbers so we can see what happens here but all these red angles are equal and all these double green angles are equal. So how does that help us? Well, if we have another one instead of having a specific angle like we did last time. Sometimes you'll have things like uh, this one up here is 4x minus 10 degrees and this one down here is uh, let's go with 2x plus 70 degrees. Okay. Now to figure out how to set up an equation with that I'm gonna look back over here and figure out are these in this case, red or green angles. The colors don't actually mean anything. That's just what I used. But are these matching angles or not? These, when I line them up, are both these double green angles. And if they match, see either they're both the green angles or they're both red angles, then they have to be equal to each other. Okay. So, I am going to set those two expressions equal to each other. You don't need the degree symbol. I'll come back to that. But then, since I know they're equal, or congruent in this case, I can set them equal to each other and solve like normal. So let's go ahead and do that quickly before we get too much further into this. So uh, 2x80 divided by 2 divided by 2. I get x equals 40. Okay. Now be careful, in Algebra 1 you would stop when you found x most of the time. In Geometry, that's not necessarily the case. So looking up here, I want to actually figure out how big these angles are, so I'm going to take that x and plug it back into both of them. And hopefully, if we did this correctly, they're going to both be the same thing, because they're both green angles. So I have 4 times x, so 4 times 40, minus 10, and that's in, that is degrees, but I'll just add it on the end here. So 4 times 40 is 160, minus 10 is 150 degrees. Let's try the second one. 2 times 40 plus 70. 2 times 40 is 80, plus 70 is also 150. So they're both equal. Both angles are 150 degrees. Okay. Now, what's the other pattern? Because there are two. So... Looking at this, these match. So what if they don't match? What if I have a green and a red? Okay, That's our other scenario, and that's pretty much all of the scenarios. So what if I change this a little bit? And what if I have yeah. Let's go ahead and just put them on top, I think. So let's say this one is still 6x plus 60, and then we'll make this one 4x plus 40. Fine. So in this case, this one's a green one and this one's a red one. Since they don't match, they're supplementary, which means they have to add up to 180 degrees. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take those two expressions, 6x plus 60 plus 4x plus 40 equals 180 degrees, or 180 in this case because I'll add the degrees on at the end. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve these. So let's do that. Uh, don't need the parentheses. So 10x plus 100 equals 180. Subtract the 100 from both sides, and we'll get 10x equals 80, so x equals 8. Just like last time, I'm not done. I want to plug that back in and see what I get, and then make sure that they are supplementary, because if they're not, that means I made a mistake. So I have 6 times 8 plus 60 for my first one, and then 4 
times 8 plus 40 for my second one. So let's see what I get here. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 60 is 108 degrees. Down here, we have 4 times 8, which is 32, plus 40. So 32 plus 40 is 72 degrees. Those are supplementary. They add up to 180. So I'm good.